Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be building some things in my daughter's room. This is going to be the first video of the new playlist where I am going to add videos to this particular playlist regarding the decoration um, of my home. Anyway, if you are new, I always forget that there's some new subscribers. If you are new, my name is C. Monet, AKA Monet's Perry Closet. This is my fa my family channel, the Greenwich family, but I also have a fashion channel, Monet's Curvy Closet, which is always down, the link is always down below. And here, um, these, this channel is about, you know, family, vlogs, um, grocery hauls, home decor, just me living my life as, you know, a single mom, just trying to make it in the world and be somebody for her kids, right? Anyway, so with that being said, I am going to, over the probably courses of months, be redecorating my home. Um, my mom and my brother have moved out last week. Ma'am, I'm trying to talk to the people and you're just making all kind of noise. Anyway, like I was saying, my mom and my brother, we all used to stay here. Um, and they moved out last week or so. And... I now want to re redecorate my home. Um, I pretty much want to de redecorate um, every room. So my this is my kids now have their own room. They shared a room with me, which was a lot. So um, I'm tremendously happy that we all now have our own space. But my daughter has her own room. My son now has his own room for the time being because he will be moving to Georgia with his dad. Um, within the next month and a half so actually next month um and so i'm gonna redecorate her room he already decorated his room i'll show you guys that because he he didn't want to wait he wants to do his own thing so i'll show you guys that in a second well he's asleep so when he cleans it up i'll show you guys probably another video because this will just be about her room but anyway his room her room i'm gonna decorate my room um but that's gonna be last like because i'm getting all new furniture all that stuff um, and then the front room, the living room, I still need to finish my patio. It, I don't know why it's taking me so long. Cause I'm like almost at the finish line. Like I'm 90% done and I need to just go ahead and finish knocking it out. But cause I have a whole video from start to finish. Well, when I finish it, it'll be finished, you know, start to finish, um, a whole vlog on that. So I really need to hurry up. But anyway, so over the course of months, I'm going to be redecorating my home. I'm so excited. Um, that's, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm just super excited. My battery's about to die. Hold on. Um, I have not been in my own um, since, make a long story short, again, for the new subscribers, I moved here to Texas. I'm originally from outside of Chicago, Illinois, um, but I moved here to Texas in 2020. And so before then, you know, it was me and my son and, you know, I have my own home. Then I moved in with my mom a little bit and then we all moved here to Texas. So I haven't had my own home where it was just me and my, me, myself and my kids, um, or me and my son at the time, but I haven't had my own home since like 2019 and it's 2023. So, you know, your girl's excited. Um, and I just, you know, get to just breathe life into this home and, decorated i'm super excited about my content room once my son leaves i'm going to turn his room into my content room um and i'm just i'm elated for that but anyway so um let me just get started and stop talking because i tend to talk too much i am going to show you guys some of the things that i purchased for her room and the reason of her decor my son put up led lights i'll show you guys that as well and yeah hold on Okay, so on a previous video, I showed you guys my my daughter's room, but I'll show you guys again. Um, so this is her room. These are three things that I bought. So I bought her a store. I think this is a storage. What is this? Design and store set. Okay, so that's a, a storage bin. This is a bookshelf. And then this is a desk, okay? And I bought this little sitting squishy thing um, at Walmart. And so this is her room. That's her bed over there. Right now we have an Elsa theme. She wanted Elsa, so I just stuck with the Elsa theme. Um, this is a little chair and table set that I bought her 
sometime last year, I think, or maybe earlier this year, I can't remember, but I'm actually gonna throw that away because now she has a desk. Um, and so this is her room, that's her closet, yada, yada, yada. So I am going to do my best to build all these three. She has been bugging me to death to build her, her stuff. So the day has come and we're gonna go ahead and do that. But I wanted to show you, I'll tell you guys briefly, 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 this story. Okay, real brief because, oh, I gotta show you guys the LED lights. Um, but real brief. So I also bought her uh, or ordered her a neon name to go on her wall, right? You guys know those neon signs that light up or whatever. It could be your name. It could be a, um, a you know, some kind of wording or something that means something to you. So anyway, I bought one off Etsy, okay? Bought one maybe like two days ago. I was so excited, so hyped. I've never bought anything off Etsy. Off Etsy. Etsy is pretty much uh, for people who hand make things and get things custom made. Etsy is the place. There's a lot of private sellers anyway, right? So I've never bought anything off Etsy, but I, you know, I know how they work. So I ordered her sign. I was really like, the, it was really, really cheap. It seemed like the whole website had a discount. And I was like, the original price like 150, with tax and everything, it was like $40 that I paid. I'm like, is this right? I'm like, okay. And so I'm like, okay, cool. So I was so excited, picked out her color, everything. It was gonna be her name, Amara Rose. It was so cute. So the seller sends me an email, he wrote it out or whatever, and showed me the picture of how it would be. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect, great. So then he tells me, okay, he said, well, the total's gonna be $200 and the amount that you paid is just, is just a deposit. Mm-mm. Look at the pony. Mm-mm. I said, I know you lost your man. So I kindly wrote him back and I said, that's false advertisement. I said, there's nothing on the website, on your profile, nothing on Etsy website, and the email confirmation that I got said nothing about this just being a deposit. So he writes me back, he says, you know, I do apologize, I understand your concerns, yada, yada, yada. He said, but we don't put the full amount because um, customer, cu custom, custom demands or something like that. Pretty much, I guess, the demands of customers that may want different things or some things added, whatever, I don't know. But I'm like, that's not my problem. If at least, at least if you're not gonna put the amount of the full item, I mean, the um, put the items, you know what I mean. If you don't put the full amount of the item, if you're not gonna do that, you at least need to put on your profile that a deposit is required and a remainder will need to be paid before shipping. Literally, and they told me that it was gonna ship like around June 5th. Mind you, I ordered like June 1st. So I was like, oh my God, it's cheap, it's fast shipping, great. I knew something was up. And so, you know, he told me, I said, no, that's false advertising. I said, this, and I literally, I went back on there and there was nothing on Etsy about they require deposit or sellers require deposits. I went on his profile, there was nothing that stated that he requires any kind of deposit. He had like a 4.8 star, like he was a top seller. So I thought he was, you know, good and legit. When he told me that, I said no. I said, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. It wasn't about the money. It was the principle. Had I knew, had I known that this item was $200, I would have paid for it if I liked it. But that's false advertisement. And I thought it was a scam. I'm like, what? So I told her, I said, no, I'm not interested. I would like my deposit back. So they processed their, a refund or whatever. And so I told my sister, my older sister, cause she orders things off Etsy. And so I asked her about her experience and she was like, you know, um, you know, one of, one of her items in her home or whatever was the, was the most that they ever spent. And they never had to pay no kind of deposit. They just pay, paid flat out. And then later on, she showed me a review uh, from that same seller, uh, or in regards to that same seller, another customer that he did the same thing where he was trying to have them uh, pay a different amount and state that what they paid was just a deposit. I'm like, no. So my experience with Etsy already effed up, okay? So now I have to find, and I was so excited about that sign. So now I have to find um, a, another place or company because again, Etsy is more of a handcraft type of um, website. So it's not like, you know, you just go or off Amazon and order a sign. I mean, you probably can, but I want my daughter's name. So it is probably a different type of website or company where you 
buy customized things like that. So I just maybe have to do my research and find, or if you guys know of a place um, where I can get a neon customized um, sign to go in her room. But anyway, I was so excited about it and he really ticked me off when he did this. So anyway, I had to share that with you guys. I'm gonna prop you guys here on the, um, whatever this thing is and get to getting. I'm hoping, what time is it? Cause I don't wanna be, listen, I'm not Bob the Builder, okay? And if I can build an egg chair, then I can do this, okay? It's 110 right now. I don't know if you can see that. It's 110 right now. So I'm gonna give myself, I have to build three things. I'm gonna give myself about three hours, like an hour each for, for each item. And um, hopefully try to finish by like four o'clock, 4.30 the latest. Hopefully it won't even take that long, but we'll just say 4.30 the latest. So let's see what we do. So I am finally done. It's about seven o'clock. We're gonna show them in a second. Um, I did not expect for this to take this. To, I did not expect for it to take this long, really. Um, but we'll go over each item that I put together. If I just had the time to just put it together, like no interruptions, it, it probably would have could have taken me three hours. But you know, this little one, she never lets me live. Um, okay, so because you don't live. Right, because no, you, you won't let me. Because you, you, you work my nerves. Oh, I work your nerve, girl. <laughs> anyway, you work my nerves. You better stop. Okay, so anyways, um, all anyways, of this guys, will. Uh, you are making your nerves, and you build them. Oh, and... can I talk now? No. Okay, so all these items again will be on my Amazon storefront in case you are interested. This is the is the desk. I wanted to try to find a bookshelf with a desk combined, you know, but I couldn't find one um, in the Elsa character. So 
I end up just getting this desk. I wanted to try to find a purple one at least or something that matched the decor of Elsa. But this is all I found. Um, but I think it's really cool how it flips up and down. Flip it down. Yeah, so and she got her little seat. So it's for three years and up. So in case you have a, a little one, this would be perfect for them. Don't put that in your mouth. Oh, girl, I need to do your hair. Do not put that in your mouth. All right, anyway, so this is, of course, her bed. Um, and then here is the uh, book, not a bookshelf, a, um, what is it? A toy. A toy. A toy. Well, I want to say container. Um, <laughs> I cannot speak. A, a, a toy set, you know, box, toy box type of thing, organizer, whatever. Amara, they can't see. Uh, can you move? Yeah. I'm trying to show them. Can you move? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, this little sucker was, um, it was, it was a little bit much. I mean, it was easy to put, I'm sorry, it was easy to fix or put together, but it was one little part back here, this little part right here, some this juice, little, mommy. whatever this thing is mommy, called. Add some juice. Add some juice. Wait a minute. That little piece was, um, I, it took me a minute to figure out how to put it on because I was getting real frustrated. But anyway, I got it on. It comes with, with three little bins up here at the top, little small bins at the top. And then it has two medium sized ones here in the middle and then the large one um, at the bottom, which is Elsa as well. And then we have the bookshelf. This is Elsa bookshelf. And it has a cute little characters on the side. And you know, someone just to put her little books. She doesn't have that many, but you know, we'll collect. Then I decided to take her rug and uh, pull it from underneath her bed and just put it out here. So. Hey, mommy, what is this? What is this? It's batteries. I need to put your air freshener up. Anyway, um, so her room is coming along. Okay, um, it's still a little bare, but I want it to kind of be bare, but I, or maybe I just want like just enough stuff to be in her room not too much because i want her to have majority of the room in this space to play um so yeah it's coming along i don't know what else i want to really add well i do i definitely want to get a bunch of pictures of her like her professional looking pictures um there's a couple that she has that i want to maybe put like a picture front a picture wall for her um if i was to get that neon light I may it's raining, mommy. Yes, it was raining. Yeah, it was raining. I may have or would have put it up here somewhere, I don't know. But um let me show you. I forgot to show you guys the LED light. So let me turn them on. Ooh. <laughs> this is perfect for like a, a a replacement for a night light because it gives so much light but it also has would you stop, girl? Yeah, it on. also has um, like dimmer, dimming lights as well, so it does. It's not too bright, but this is perfect for her. And it changed colors, as you guys can see. Amara's playing with the remote, and I also got I these from you. Amazon. And yeah, so I can, you know, of course, turn it to purple or blue, whatever, to match her room. But I am just in love with the. LED lights my son put them up for me he put them in his room as well and yeah so I'm just gonna get like some probably some pictures um and then I don't know what else I'm um, probably like some little trinkets or something to kind of add to her room I don't know yet but yeah so that is it for now guys this is her room it's gonna come along slowly but surely I can sleep in my room yes you can sleep in your room yeah I'm not I'm not scared I'm not sleeping yeah, uh, but you did last night. Yeah, I went to. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look a plum fool, okay? Yeah, you um, look a plum. You look so messy. Oh, <laughs> rude. Cause anyway, go uh, I'm not going to take it. Now. Go take a shower now. Go take Anybody a want a four-year-old? <coughs> Anybody? Go Anybody? take a shower now. No, no return. No return. Go take a shower now. Who you talking to? You. So go take a shower now. You lost all of your marbles, haven't you? Stop. <laughs>
anyway, um, I'm about to go take a shower because I'm about to do some overtime and um, <laughs> stop. That's not, no, inappropriate. You don't do that. Do you understand? Anyway, I'm about to go take a shower. Um, I'm about to do some overtime, of course. So I am done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, remember, the items that I put together will be in my Amazon storefront, which the link is down below in the description box. Why does kids have no respect and care when you're speaking? They just, they just don't care. Okay. Then they get louder when you don't pay attention, right? 